Hey everyone, Dead Owl Nerve Guy here. Today, time to complete the internal of my S200 Fire Rat. Welcome to Tag. Yes, another Fire Rat video. I'm gonna reopen this thing very quickly to put my new Heart of the Blaster inside and a little extra because I just received my dart gate, we're gonna take a look at the part my pusher with some mystery part inside but I think I have an idea what it is and my mag release uh, it's a little, little tiny part but I, I really like this uh, CNC feeling and that's gonna complete since pretty much everything apart the priming block and muzzle will be CNC. All my internal part will be. So now, for this, I'm not going to need the magazine. Let's put our blaster aside and take a look at those parts. First, let's start with the dart gate. Hmm got some weight to it I have to say and it's in two part it's not perfect it's rubbed a little maybe with the screw in shipping and they gave you two o-ring black one but they seem very very good quality and these does it fit like that there is a little loose meaning Okay, you could use some RTV, I guess. A little tiny, tiny bead around it. So it will completely seal it. Do I dare trying it without RTV? Because this thing, this thing is beautiful. Should be quite easy to just... Slap the two screws in. And is it this one? Yeah. Let's go slowly side by side. I want it straight. And I don't know the quality of the screw. doesn't move whatsoever so I'm gonna try it without RTV but I suggest you put some in the middle but those thing those thing are amazing they fit like it's really made to go there okay let's put that o-ring uh, this one doesn't want to you don't want to lubricate it too much because that's where your plunger tube comes clamping into the system and i'm afraid i won't be able to install the plunger tube i will have to loosen those screw before i do anyway this is a beautiful beautiful piece i mean yeah it's black it might be hard to see on camera but that is very very good machining now let's take a look at this pusher and the screw for the member of this pusher weirdly this pusher is not all black it's been scuffed a bit probably by the screw again uh, but it's been machined silver near the tip uh, okay should be pretty simple since there is no air going in that thing it's just pushing a dart my best guess is Oh, this is going 
to be two rooms. Try this one. I'm just trying the bits I normally use for the fire wrap, and they seem to fit. As I remember, the little corner was down on the pusher in my fire wrap. Maybe I should just confirm with the mag in. Uh, you can't really see it uh, maybe from your angle but yes the little corner is down I got some leak somewhere here so my best guess is this pusher and dark gate is gonna solve that leak that I have but for the pusher okay it's wiggly so it's not tight enough Okay, I see. Need to hold the pusher. Yeah, seems straight. Seems in place and straight. So that is the pusher. Machining is as outstanding as with the other one. This is really, really something. I don't understand why they didn't put uh, black on this part the tip but yeah maybe it's a last minute change in the design because the part was too sharp i don't know nonetheless very very good and there is this it's a mystery part but i think i know what it is hmm. please comment if you know what that is but my best guess is it's a part of a cnc router pretty sure of it this o-ring i'm not gonna install it dry on it i'm gonna lubricate it first uh, i'm gonna put some silicon oil oil on it it's a little thick the one i have but i like it like that it's not runny like the regular one but i think i got enough here i just want to not install it dry that should be Oof. that is gonna be hard not to kill it because yeah okay the head is a bit sharp and whew. this is yeah okay should be good let's put a little letter on it but okay i think we have a pusher and now for the seal does that thing really oh yes okay it's not it's not the same game as before now this thing is gonna just fit in and seal oh, okay that is gonna be very very cool and the last extra bit here the cnc mag release i kind of see inside that this thing is spring loaded so i want to be very very careful with it uh, just so i don't lose any small part i'm gonna show you what i mean by that that thing got a little spring with a notch inside my guess is you load it into the blaster you turn with a little flathead screwdriver to release a spring and then it gets in place and hold your magazine once uh, all the parts are in but i got no clue on how to install it on or how to remove the other one so let's leave it assembled in the bag i don't want it to pop or explode so i'm gonna lose the little spring that is inside
I have to say, this thing feels amazing, all assembled. It got a really nice weight to it. It is not too heavy, but it is, it is really more towards real seal weight as for a blaster. This could maybe bring to a problem if you are examining blaster, because honestly, uh, per size, this is the mo the heaviest blaster I have for its size. But other than that, the new CNC mag release is really, really crisp. Uh, the dart gate and pusher seems to be in a better place. I don't have 100% seal on it, but it doesn't look like it impair my performance too much. I don't know what kind of performance I'm going to have with this thing because... I basically changed the spring. I had an Ultra 5 spring which looked exactly the right size with the right shape for what I wanted to do. So let's try it. Seems to work. It returned. Uh, to note, the return spring might need an upgrade but it's really tight inside. So unless uh, one of you have a possibility to have a custom return spring or if ZWQ release an upgraded uh, return spring for this thing, it will it would help very very much because all those CNC parts are being moved on the slide by the spring, and that kind of slows it down a bit. That said, let's fire a few darts. 137 with the Ultra 5 spring. 137 again. Those are max dart, maybe not the best. 138, 134, 141, 138 again, 135, so we're getting the point here, 139, still got one, 140, and now it's empty. Uh, yeah, all, the, all this mechanism is quite crisp, quite amazing. Uh, this is an average of 138 even FPS, maximum 141, minimum 134 with max dart on it, which are not the best dart for this blaster. Okay, those are uh, bamboo knockoff. I like them because they got very thick foam and a very, very, very small hole in the, in the back, which means we got less uh, pressure loss inside. This blaster uh, love those little darts. I think those are the same as the MK dart from uh, Monkey Mod. So, let's try it. What was that? 153. 150 point5 154.4 153.5 152 and 154.4 because I am pretty sure yet yeah, this thing is empty. Let's go quickly, 143 average, minimum 134, because it's going with what we had before, and a maximum of 155.4. With the MK dart inside of this, we get more around 150 FPS with my Ultra 5 spring inside. Not a perfect seal, but still, the dart are moving. I think I'm going to keep it in this configuration, because it is quite precise, and it, it is still... A good firm prime but very manageable if you need it. Does it still work on slam fire? Yeah. I guess I'm not gonna know because this is yeah. Yeah, it still work on slam fire, so that's really really good. No, I really really dig this blaster. This is 
really my number one pistol blaster with all the metal internal inside this thing feel even more special but keep in mind this is really like the best pistol blaster i own but size wise this is also the most expensive blaster i own keep that in mind uh, yeah, that's it for this video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerd guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.